And this isn't a Bible review. This is actually a reference book that I use a fair bit. Um, I'm going to do a review on this. You're going to have to excuse the some of the my pronunciation may not be correct, but I'll try and get it as close as possible. This book was written by Gustav Adolf Dismann. Light from the Ancient East. It's an excellent book. This is a second print of this book. First print of this book was in 1910. The second print, which is this one, is 1911. This book is actually 107 years old. And there's the... Okay, I want to... It says it's 107 cents. This is the second print in January 1911. And you wouldn't believe this book. It is actually a glued binding. It's not sewn. It's glued. And it's still going after 107 years. So some glues weren't too bad. Now, this guy was a pro Protestant theologian. And he was best known for his Greek language used, used in the New Testament. And there's a whole heap of things all about the Greek language in this book. And also the New Testament references. And man, This book is just awesome. And still quite relative today, even though... It's 107 years old. I mean, you've got these archives of writings. And that's what this one is. Try to get that shadow over there. Sorry about that. We've got these all through the book. literature in the New Testament. I mean, I haven't read all this book. I've read parts of it. I was doing a study the other day in it and I was doing it and I was using the, the serpent in it as my word study and I found quite a bit in here on serpent. It's quite interesting. So just because a book is old, doesn't mean it's not relevant. I mean, this book is great. I don't know if you'll find one this old. Um, there is a little bit of damage on it, but you know, and it's just here. Is the damage in it? I suppose you could fix it, but I, uh, you know, I don't know. And just leave it alone. Just be careful when I use it. Uh, oh, this page here as well. Where the glue's gone a bit hard in it. But um, he also wrote quite a few other books as well. Which I haven't been able to get hold of. They're quite hard to get hold of. I mean, he died in he died in um, 1937, I think. I think he died. I mean, he's written books from 1892 all the way up to. 1925, and there's quite a few of them that he's wrote. He's wrote, he written the Protestant Weekly Letter. The Philosophy of the Greek Bible. Uh, yeah, like there is quite a few books. I'm just looking on Google about it. But, uh, 
I just thought, you know, something different than a Bible, a nice a reference book. Like I said, if you ever find one of these books, grab it because it's a great book to read. Like I said, I haven't read it all, but uh, I'm still I'm still reading bits and pieces of it. And you have, I found that you've got to read this a little bit slower just to understand a bit of it. But yeah, I'm actually enjoying it. It's quite a good book. The pages have gone yellow. So I guess, you know, not an acid-free paper. And most probably shouldn't be handling it with my hands or whatever. But, you know, I didn't pay that much for it. I don't think they knew what they had when I bought it. Got some nice things in it. And it tells you where this one is. The Berlin Museum. This one's kept the scroll. The letter. The letter. An Egyptian soldier. In Rome. And like I said, it's a great reference book. That's one to keep in my library. That I'm sort of trying to make up a little library. Um, so quite a nice book. It's actually a, a cloth overboard this. It covers quite good. It's just that binding's a little bit sad. But you know, it's a glue binding. It's you know it's amazing it's lasted this long. Thanks for watching.